Hello everyone, welcome to another Super Bowl 1 TV. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to haul a wagon like this one. So, let me show you. So, if you've ever hauled one or ever seen any of my videos hauling these, um, in my first video of hauling this wagon, I mean, not this wagon, my other red wagon, which is now at a junkyard somewhere in Indiana, I don't know where, but I don't really care, that thing was broken. Um... I hauled it, and we were just talking about crap. I was stupid back then. Um, and now, I have this one, which I didn't have when we first hauled that wagon. And, um, I want to show you how to haul it with all this stuff in the back. And to haul, as you saw, we hauled a passenger, which I haul my stuff now. It's only often when I haul a passenger, because my neighbors down the street have like, the same wagon I did, and... We use that one sometimes. Um, I also use this one for past feeding, but it's very often. I sometimes stick a tub in here and, yeah. Okay, so let's show you. So if you're just getting into hauling or if you've been in the hauling, this is a non-functional bike right now. I rarely use it to haul anything. But if you haul with a Hyperbike Co., this Mike Spinner, It'll come with four pegs and won't have a silver wheel in the front. It'll come with a black wheel, as you saw if you've watched the other Bike Garage videos. Um, I swapped this out for more speed, which it gave me with more traction. This one is just a street tire. That one's an off-road tire, so off-road street. Um, to haul these things to be safe, you need to check everywhere around you. You need to make sure everything, your load is strapped down, not anything's gonna fall out or anything, which mine won't, because, yeah. Um, you also need to make sure that your pegs are tight, which mine aren't, but kind of strict on that rule right now on this bike, because I have to keep taking it apart and everything. Um, also, if you're just getting into hauling, I would recommend getting a, another screwdriver. Which is what I did. And, where is this? Go. and attaching it somewhere onto your wagon. A longer strap, perhaps. Yeah, at least something around this or like right here. To keep your load to turn both ways, but if it rubs the tire, you'll still be okay, but okay. So, being safe and making sure to watch out for cars and seeing how much space you have. Um, you need to make sure you have enough space because if you hit a car, recommend you could hit one with the wide load. It's not as skinny as you think. Like, your handlebars go out farther than your frame. So, you hit cars with that sometimes. But with this, it's wider than your handlebars, at least on this one and on that one. It's wider than your handlebars that one actually it's wider than your handlebars so you need to make sure that you're good and your load if it's sticking out i recommend if you're on a road like i was i used to put oversized load on the back of this made cars see you had an oversized load and if you're hauling at night recommend going to walmart and get these lights and put some on the back because you won't need them on the front just put some on the back or at least put some on and put some on your bike things but I don't haul it at night with this one if I had to haul it at night I'd use that one you might be saying what if I have these lights these lights just deflect the light so those don't really help you they just deflect the car light um that's about it for being safe actually Oh, and always check your tires, because if one blows up, if one blows up or runs out of air, you're screwed. Even though you have all the, if you have tools, you're screwed, because hopefully you have an air compressor, but if it blows up, just be safe when you're hauling, guys, and I hope you have enjoyed this video of being safe, and be safe while doing this. I do not recommend doing this. I've been doing it. For six years, the first time I did it was on a Tony Hawk bike, similar to a BMX bike. Um, then I got 
What else? Do I still have my first bike? Oh, yeah. Do I? Anyway, let me think about this. Okay, so I don't have my, um, first, I have this, after my Tony Hawk bike was my first ever experiencing hauling trip. I always wanted bikes with pegs to haul with because that meant I could do work, like go and do stuff as you saw. And I want to show you something. That one yard work video I was in doing yard work but it deleted and gave me a 20 second video of what I just so you just saw what I do actually when I come back here so guys hope you have enjoyed this video I have one day left of school tomorrow was my last day and then after that day I'm free for two and a half months I'm so excited um that means my videos with the Elgato which is good so Get ready for those videos, and I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.